Hello watch fans, Berthier watches here. This time for you we have a 1997 from February 97 Zenith men's watch chronograph instructions so we know it's going to be an El Primero. One of the most sought after chronograph movements ever made we would say. Uh, this is the movement that Rolex used around the same time between 88 and 2000 in the Daytona but with the Daytona they lost the date function and they dropped the uh, beat from 36.6000 to 28.8 now that stops it being a proper tenth of a second chronograph whereas this one is so let's show you you've got a stainless steel and 18 karat gold link bracelet and those center links are gold Butterfly clasp, as you would expect, screw down case back, screw down crowns, and you see on the back the crowns and the pushers where they've been sitting against the wrist, and these are only plated items for strength, they have lost some of the plating. See the plating on the crown is almost almost gone completely on the top. But from the top view, it's fine. The dial is beautiful. The bezel is also 18 karat gold and very thick you get a lot of gold in here you've got quick set date now let me show you you unscrew the crown now normally with a watch you pull it to position one to set the date but that sets the hands so you pull it to position two to quick set the date most unusual not a problem just a little bit different it's no surprise things were different because the El Primero was the first automatic chronograph uh, ever made. Now that's contested alongside uh, the Calibre 11 and alongside Seiko's 6139, but it's certainly in with a shout. So screw down pushers, this is for water resistance. You unscrew those before you can start or stop the chronograph. And that's where you can see the pitting. Beautifully smooth, 31 joule automatic movement. Really is one of the best chronos you can get. And it is between a third and a quarter of the price of a bimetal Rolex Daytona with their dumbed down version of this movement. Now the Rolex was the better buy because it's gone up so much in value. Now, well, depends on budget. But if you've got £12,000 to spend on a Daytona and you want a Daytona, buy the Daytona. If you've got a lot less than that but want a very high quality chronograph then this is an excellent choice. Available now at berthierwatches.com and the link is in the pinned comment below. Thanks for watching.